swimming around quite a bit. That's pretty good. It's a good sign. Today we're going to be doing a water test and we're going to show you how to do it. So this is the, here, here's the main one to get it. API Marine Cell Water Master Test Kit. So first thing you want to do is get all your little bottle things out. So here, let me show you. Get our bottle things out like this. You want to get your little guide thing. With, it's on the back of the thing. And it will all be in a container like this. So you want to get all that out. Then you're going to want... Did I fill up my last one? Yeah, I did. Forgot I dropped it. So you want to fill them all up. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. But, let's see. You want to fill it up to the line. So, there's instructions for everything. First, here, let me put you right here. We're going to do pH. So we'll move all of these out of the way. We're going to do pH. So this one is just one bottle. You get one of your things. You fill it up with your salt water. There we go. Up to the line. So you take the top off. And in your little guide thing, if you open it, it will tell you what you need to do. So add five drops. You can pause it if you want. But fill it up to the line. Add five drops of high range pH test solution. Hold dropper bottle upside down in a completely vertical position to ensure my drops. Okay. You kind of get the idea. So you get, it says add five. I'm doing this through a camera screen. So one, two, three, four, five. So this one, it does it pretty much immediately. So what this one wants you to do is tilt it. I'm gonna stop the video and do the rest real quick. All right, I just got done shaking it and everything. Oh, that's not good. Well, actually, I'm sure it's fine. What color is it? I don't, I mean, it may be different for y'all, but it looks like eight. So, I'm going to set this one to the side. Put this back in the, well actually I'm not putting it back in the container, I don't know why I said that. Now we'll do nitrite, because this one, there's only one bottle of also. Lately, the ammonia has been a little bit up, so I've been only testing that. But today I'm doing a full test, and I thought, you know what? I think it could be fun to do this on YouTube. I'll pull out the guide after I do the drops. I actually... That actually might not be good. The next one it shows on here is ammonia, so nitrite right here. Wait five minutes. So after you mix it up, you shake for five seconds. Wait five minutes for the color to develop. So it, they all have a different thing, but I don't really think it matters too much. Most of them you have to wait five minutes. So one, two, three, four. I kind of did five and a half, but it'll be okay. Get it like this. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we'll wait five minutes for this one to develop. Ooh, that's not good. We'll set it right there. You will be able to tell me if I'm actually doing five minutes or not. Uh, we'll do nitrate now. I keep dropping things. I'm going to scoot these things back. All right, this one I filled like perfectly up to the line. Let's get these back, so bottle one, bottle two. It's so hard doing this through a camera. It's actually a phone, it's my phone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully I didn't do too many. I need to move this out of the way. Because that's nitrate. Or nitrate. Or nitrate. That's nitrate. Ooh, that could have been bad. Bottle two. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Ooh, this one's good. So this one's another shake. Well, actually, the truth is I don't really know what this one tells you to do, so I just shook it up real quick. Let's see, did it say wait five minutes? Where is it? My tray right there. Wait five minutes for the thing to develop. So now that we've done that, it hasn't been five minutes, but it's been three minutes and 10, three minutes and 13 seconds. So that one is zero. Let's see. Can I try it? So that's good. We'll put this one to the side. This one we still have to do the five minutes. So we'll do ammonia now. Got one more that doesn't have stuff in it. That's what we use. So bottle one, bottle two. I don't even need instruction things for this one because I've been doing it so much lately. Look at that camera. That focus is really nice. Oh wait. And if you want to know where we got this. All right. Sorry about that. If you want to know where we got this. Well, actually, I'm going to tell you the story about how. So this one's at eight. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll tell you stories whenever we're waiting for this one in five. It'll be like five minutes, but I'll probably cut that part out because, you know what? Oh my goodness. Anyways, real quick before. Okay, this one looks kind of cool. Whenever we put it in. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. It looks like some kind of bacterial and stuff. Like jellyfish or something here. Let me get it to focus on that. There we go. Anyways, I'll put the top on it. This one you tilt upside down once, then shake. Wait five minutes. Now I'll pull out this one. This is nitrate. I got the little book wet, so hopefully we can mess it up. Ooh, oh. Mm. Here I'm on. Yeah, that one looks about zero to me. I'm gonna move it out. Yeah, that looks about zero. Alright. We have to wait five minutes for that one. All right, so we've been trying to lower. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but we've been using this quick start, even though we already have two clownfish in the tank, <laughs> to try to lower the ammonia levels. And I think it's done something, because it's been five minutes. I don't know about you, but that looks like it's zero. I mean, it's not any other one, so that zero so ammonia is officially gone and that actually worked out pretty good so you want to rinse these out with warm water before you put them back in the container or use them again you can just use one then rinse it out and do it like that so these are the clownfish they seem to be doing better so i named them this one is daryl see the one with the little white stripe on the back like by the tail that stops halfway through. That's Carol. Oh, they're eating. That's great. Anyways, well, that's it. It's looking pretty good. Did all the tests. Now I just have to edit this video, which is probably gonna take a little bit of time.